I am so excited. Because of you, I've hit on the world's best and most secret technology, which I'll bring to you today. The Gyrotron Plasma Drill. So this all started with me just reading the daily science news and finding out about geothermal energy. Pretty cool stuff. The world is hot. If only we could extract out the power of the inner earth, we could make all the electricity that we needed. And there's a new push to make that happen. With Germany having its Russian gas cut off and still having tons of old coal plants, they have coal powered power stations everywhere. Now, a coal powered power station is basically just a way of turning steam into electricity. And there's tons of really good German engineers who work and keep them running. But you don't want to burn the coal. You want to make the steam from geothermal heat in our Earth. But there's a problem. The problem is the hot stuff in Germany is at least 20 kilometers down there. And there's no way of drilling a hole that deep. So I thought. The deepest borehole in the world is in Russia, of course, the Kola well. It is, let's get this correct, 12 kilometers or 7.6 miles deep, bored with a conventional drill bit and pipes. Up at the top is a big engine that turns I just can you just imagine this you've got a pipe a drill bit at the end of a long shaft turned by a motor which is what was it 12 kilometers up turn imagine how much can us twist it anyway that is the maximum that you can drill using just a rotary drill bit and an engine up at the surface. It took years and they still only got seven miles deep. There must be a better way and there is using a very secret technology. And the obvious better way is yeah don't drill the rock you melt the rock. If only you could. Well, people have tried. Look at this machine. Back in the 1950s and 60s, Russia built the Mole, a fission-powered nuclear Thunderbirds machine that melted its way through the Earth. It probably existed, but you don't want to drive it. <laughs> And that amazing machine led me down this incredible rabbit hole to discover if there are machines that can melt rock. And I soon discovered there is a deeply classified military technology to dig boreholes and even tunnels by melting the rock. In the 1980s, the US developed the MX missile program. Hundreds of miles of tunnels under the USA with missiles on rail cars that could move around randomly and pop up when needed to be fired. So the launch sites could never be found. This really happened. But how did they dig hundreds of miles of tunnel through rock underneath the USA. This man has the answer. And researching science films is brilliant. There's no way that the technology that the US government used to dig the MX tunnels is going to be out on Google. But you can get the information if you look at 
Amazon. Amazon? Yes, not the Amazon shopping site, but Jeff Bezos's Blue Origin Amazon rocket site. That was built by the man who built the machines to build the tunnels for the MX missiles. In an article, he revealed that the US Corps of Engineers fired hypersonic bullets to vaporize the rock ahead of TBMs, tunnel boring machines, to turn the rock into vapor and plastic. And then the drill, the conventional drill, would clean out the hull. But that only solves half the problem. When they built Crossrail, the purple line through the centre of London, they extracted so much spoil, waste from digging the tunnels, that it actually made a whole new island off the coast of England in the county of Essex. Spoil spoils the tunnel. So to dig a geothermal well or a super fast secret underground military base, you want to melt the rock and vaporize the spoil. You can do that with a gyrotron. And I'll explain what a gyrotron is in a minute, but first let's put it into context. The fastest, most efficient German Swiss built TBM tunnel boring machine can incredibly drill 37 meters through solid rock a day. A gyrotron can dig 20 meters an hour by melting the rock, turning it into a plasma extracting the plasma as a vapour, and the heat produces a vitrification of the tunnel walls, sealing the tube with no need for support. This is the answer. Plasmavit, advanced drilling technology to reach deep underground resources. Plasmavit is based on the non-contact rock disintegration method using a thermal heat flow generator optimized for thermal rock processing. The leading manufacturer of gyrotrons is from Slovakia, and how they describe their machine is incredible. Plasmabit generates heat flow which melts, evaporates, and fragments rock. The system is developed for extreme, high pressure, and high temperature conditions. This device loves high pressure, it loves high temperature, it loves hard rock. Just look at how it cuts through solid granite or basalt. So I know all of you out there are asking, but how does it work? It's fascinating, and I think you deserve to know. This is the explanation. Gyroton beam splitters. Early electron cyclotron resonance energies demonstrated the potential to heat plasmas in fusion research, but the technology and scientific understanding to create a gyrotron system that was reliably capable of this did not become a mature science until the 21st century. What was needed was a reliable device that produces terahertz radiation in the 100 gigahertz to 1 terahertz range. A gyrotron is a form of microwave amplification by stimulated emission of radiation, or Mazar device. The principle behind how a gyrotron functions first came from Nikola Tesla. In the 1950s, relativistic effects of electron energy were being studied in the new cyclotrons for the first time. By injecting streams of electrons into the electromagnetic field of a cyclotron with an equal frequency, an effect known as negative mass instability was observed. 
the electron stream would tend to bunch together, causing the electrons to release kinetic energy in the millimeter wavelength range. That was the birth of the gyrotron. Its advantage is that it can generate enormous amounts of radio frequency energy in the megawatt range at very small wavelengths. The process generates an enormous amount of heat, which can be used to sinter ceramics, heat plasma, or melt rock. There are only a handful of gyrotrons in the world, mainly in the control of governments and the military. The military technology developed for thermally cutting boreholes and tunnels might be the world's best kept secret, but it also might be the world's answer to releasing the geothermal energy for electricity production that we need in a carbon-free future. The truth is down there.